Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it'd be kind of fun to go ahead and do kind of a recap of the new wave of the Mermaids, Mermaids Winter Waves line. So stay tuned as we kind of look over them. I give you kind of my thoughts on the line itself and just kind of go from there. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and dive in. And first off, we're gonna just say interesting line, <laughs> right? A very, very interesting line of dolls. Um, we got a glimpse of these a while back. Um, I think the first one we actually saw someone take a picture of was Mora, uh, who I'm not including in this because her box did not say Winter Wave. And then we got some sneak peeks and someone said something and there was like a leaked video of the snow globe tails. Um, as far as I know, which I thought was very odd, there was no PR given uh, for these dolls. They literally just, all of a sudden, they were on Amazon for everyone to buy, um, which I thought was interesting. Uh, usually we always see some PR, usually with some new uh, lines. We did with the first wave, we did not with the second. It's very strange, but you know, it's fine. Um, so it was kind of fun, you know, being awesome. Nope, there they are, I can purchase them. That's kind of fun, uh, but still it's just very, very different. So anyhow. My thoughts on this line are, okay. <laughs> um, the biggest complaint that everyone had from wave one was the tails. Uh, they were not articulated. They were just chunks of plastic. So then we got Aura and she had a semi-bendable tail so that yes, we're headed in the right direction. And then we got Mora and Mora is back to the solid plastic tail. Granted, yes, it's interchangeable, but at the same time, it's another plastic tail. So I thought, all right. And then we got these snow globe tails. And I think people have just kind of had it. Um, gimmicks are cute, gimmicks are fun. Uh, I get that these are geared towards children, but I think most people would have preferred, I know a lot of people have said in, in my videos, we just want legs underneath them. And I'm like, well, they're mermaids and not all mermaids change into humans unless you do, you know, depending on how you look at it. Um, Cause obviously like Ariel, for instance, Ariel was not a mermaid that when went on land could change to human. She had to be changed by a sea witch. So, you know, otherwise mermaids stay mermaids. So I would prefer no legs, but I would prefer an articulated tail. And I know a lot of people have said they would prefer an articulated tail. So when we saw that we weren't getting an articulated tail again, I think that put a lot of people off. Um, as a collector, I think most of us, and I can say this, I think pretty, um, whatever, I, I, I think I speak for a lot of us when I say, we would rather have articulation in the tail than color change fins and glitter in them. Um, while the glitter is cute and pretty and fun, as an adult collector, I would rather have something that I can pose a little bit better than trying to do a balancing act on the thankful stands that we got. Um, each one of these has been a uh, chore to get to balance without falling forward, even on said stands. You have to hit it just right on the little raised M in order to keep it from bending forward, flopping backwards, or the doll itself falling all the way forward because the, you know, the top is too heavy. Um, so I'm glad we have stands. The stands still aren't perfect uh, and is because we have ridiculously wonky tail fins. Um, so again, I get it, especially with Harmonique and uh, Kashiko, you know, it's due to, I believe it's Nara. I don't watch the show because the show drives me nuts. I just like the dolls, so I collect the dolls. Um, you know, it's something to do with her bringing in something and it changes stuff up to the winter side of things. I don't know. I Someone tried to describe it to me once and I'm like, ah, it's too complicated. Um, so I get why they have these different tail fins but I want to see a mermaid. I don't want to see a chunk of crystal, an underwater cyclone, a feather boa, a, again, a chunk of crystal. I want to see a tail fin. Uh, the closest thing we've gotten to an actual tail fin on any of these, shape-wise is Nera, uh, shape-wise again is Mora, and sort of, kind of, ish, maybe, um, the original Kashiko, and then Jordy's tail fin, while as ugly as it is, actually looks like a mermaid tail fin, minus the lace up on it. So it's like, I really, I guess Harmonique's original first tail was a little too, but still had that the crystal cutting in it, and I just, nah. Mermaids to me are half human, half fish, not half human, half guitar, half, you know, pants, half lace up skirt, it, no. I just, I get it, they're trying to, you know, appease little children and make them look cutesy and all that kind of stuff, but they can have all these belts and jewels and stuff, but put it on a normal tail. And the tail could be whatever color you want, just don't give me gimmicks, give me articulation. Um, I, I, especially the price point now, they're $7 more than the original ones. These are $39.99, you know, more was $44.88. It's, they just keep jumping the price up, but not really still 
doing what a lot of us collectors would like to see. So I think that's kind of why these probably are still hanging around, not selling well, haven't seen a whole lot of reviews on them. Um, I don't know. I think collectors are just kind of like, all right, MGA, all right, whatever. Um, whereas me, I mean, I'm excited about them, but again, there's my hangups. I had to change them, get them the way that I wanted them to look, um, which I don't like having to do that. I don't like have to pay money and then fix it to get it to how I like it. So that's kind of frustrating. So what I did to mine was, and we'll start with Christabella. I hated her outfit completely and totally. So I gave her Aisha's top, which I think is really fun. I gave her Nera's pearl belt. I wrapped her pony. And then I gave her three braids in her hair. And I might do another one or I might do two more. I haven't really decided, but I think that really enhanced her look. Um, and I think it gave her more of just that beautiful, I just, to me, it's more icy, more wintry looking um, than what she originally looked like. I love how she looks now. For Gwen, uh, oh, bless you, Gwen. Gwen had these twist braids all around. I took out the ones in the back and I love her hair so much more now. Her hair is super, super soft, really, really long. Um, and I'm like, nope, nope, she's she's getting those out. Now I did leave the three on the one side and the one on the other, and I did leave these things in the front, um, but I did take all the ones out in the back because I just, I like this much, much better. Her tail is so annoying when I'm gonna go there. Um, she keeps wanting to fall off the stand because of her tail. It's a lot of fun. As you can see, she doesn't want to stand up straight half the time, so I have to always constantly fix her. Um, and because of the way her tail is, she ends up being the shortest one in the group. Uh, so, you know, Nera had horns and I didn't like the horns. So the horns, I kind of actually, I undid her uh, twist braids. And then what I did was I wrapped her pony with those short uh, hairs that we used for the horns and just incorporated them. You can kind of see the one right there, incorporated them into her hair. So what I did with her hair was I wetted it down, I straightened it, and then um, I wetted it down again, and then I wrapped it around chopsticks. And I let it dry for three days and ended up with this. She fell over once because again, they don't stand up very well in these stands. So that one got a little messy, but nonetheless, there she is. Kashiko is the one I really didn't do a whole lot to. Um, I literally just pulled this up a little higher up on her head um, and then pulled them each like opposite direction. And uh, it gave me kind of that higher pony and it gave kind of the more of the I Dream of Jeannie look to her, which I love. Um, otherwise her hair is exactly as it was in the box. Uh, I didn't do anything else to it, but I love how she looks now. Um, everything else on Kashiko, that earring needs to go in a little more. There we go. Everything else on Kashiko is exactly as she was. So she is probably my favorite out of the whole group. Um, I do love her quite a bit. Um, but again, as you can see, balancing act on these things. You have to position it just right on that raised M on the base uh, for them to actually stand up without like bending all the way forward or something crazy wild. Um, Harmonique is the other one I didn't do too much to. Um, for Harmonique, all I really did was I took her earmuffs off, put in her earrings, which I love her earrings so much more. I gelled the side tendrils. You can see here they're stiff as craziness, but they needed to be. Um, and uh, they now kind of stay where I want them to. And then I just brushed her hair out and got these nice big luscious curls in it now. And I love that so much better than just the big waviness that we had going on. Um, and uh, now, like I said, now I'm super, super happy with her. Um, I think she looks great. And I love Harmonique. I love Harmonique. Um, so, you know, like I said, Again, I don't really like having to change something after I've purchased it. I'd rather it be the way that it needs to be right after purchasing it. Um, I just, I don't know. But again, since it is mine, I can do with it as I please. So I guess it's okay. I just, <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> Who knows, I guess, when it comes down to this stuff. I don't know that MGA is ever really going to listen when it comes to the tails. I think they're just gonna continue to do these weird gimmicks. Um, and uh, we're just gonna deal with it or just stop buying them because you speak with your wallets, uh, it seems like more than anything else. Uh, and you know, people say, oh, they'll hear us, they'll hear us. Well, maybe, um, but if you don't purchase it, they'll either the line will stop because they're not making money off of it anymore or they'll change it. So, you know, I think that's another way. I mean, money talks, everybody knows that. And money definitely talks. Um, granted, am I helping the situation by buying it every single time they release? Probably not. Uh, but again, I'm a sucker for mermaids, even if they're a little bit on the ridiculous side. So it is what it is. So that being said, that is kind of my thoughts on this line. I like them. I wish they had some massive differences with them. Um, 
but we don't at this point. I don't know that this line can keep going, honestly. Um, you know, we've got the first wave of all the main characters. We got some new characters. We got their dolls now. We've got some redone characters with their new designs. I don't know that I'm gonna buy any more redos. Like if they redo um, Jordy or Shelnell or you know one of them, I probably will not buy them. I again, I just I don't know. Um, as much as I think this line is fun, I think it's gonna get to a point where it's overdone. Kind of like Rainbow High. Uh, you know, we're now to the point where they've done every color, they've done every skin tone, they've done every hair color. Um, what more can we really do uh, without, you know, just constantly adding more and new characters? Um, so I just, I don't know, I don't see these being a multi-year long thing. I mean, a couple years, three years maybe, but four or five, six years, probably not. Um, same with Rainbow High. They've been going for about three years now. I don't know how much longer Rainbow High can keep going. A couple more years, maybe, sure. But, you know, at some point, they're going to be done and people will kind of get tired of them. Um, we're kind of seeing that with the Disney designer line. You know, they've made 15 dolls now. We haven't seen Belle yet, but it's to the point now where they're staying in stock because they made nine and 10,000 of each. And I think people have just kind of... It had it, <laughs> you know? Um, and I think people are just kind of saying, okay, you're just throwing stuff at us now to throw stuff at us because you think we're gonna buy it. And some people have just said, no, we're not going to. A lot of people commented on my videos, okay, yeah, it's cute, but no thank you. Um, and I know that a lot of those people bought all the first wave. So I think it's just getting to the point where people are just kind of putting their brakes on frivolous spending due to the economy um, and being a little bit more picky about what they add. So, you know, I get it, I really do. I did not plan on getting all five, um, it just happened. Um, <laughs> thanks to Kelly, I did end up with Harmonique and Nera. So Kelly, thank you so much, I love them. Um, you know, Kashiko and Christabella and Gwen, I did purchase those three. Uh, I am glad to have all five, I love all five. Um, you know, so it's just one of those things where it's like, it just ended up happening the way that it did and it's all good. <laughs> um, but it, again, it's just one of those things where I think people are holding out. Um, and I get it. So yeah, that is what it is. Anyhow, that is my thoughts on the line, guys. I would love to know your thoughts as well. Definitely those in the comments down below. Um, this is one of those videos where if you don't like it, be honest about it. I don't care if, you, if you're like, nope, I don't like this line whatsoever. Go ahead and put that in the comments. I usually tell people to be nice. Give your honest opinion on these because I, I think that it does need to be voiced. Um, I think that a lot of collectors are just tired of having things thrown at them, expected to buy them because you know they've been released. And uh, maybe it's time that some of these bigger companies hear that. You never know. Having said that though, I will say their face molds and makeup are amazing. Love them, absolutely love them. So on that note, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope you have an extra magical day. Leave your comments down below, hit that subscription button, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you real soon.